Have you ever had a delivery experience that went completely sideways? Well, in this video, I'll walk through each obstacle I encountered, showcasing the actual proof from customer support. You'll witness the frustration, the confusion. So make sure you stay till the very end of the video as I share this unbelievable story of my first Whole Foods block gone wrong. What's up y'all, it's your girl Desiree Simone and I'm back with another video, Hey, You guys clicked on this video because you guys wanna see how my first day doing Amazon Flex Whole Foods delivery goes. If you are not aware of what Amazon Flex is, it is another side gig that you deliver packages, but you are an independent contractor with Amazon. So you get to pick your own hours and see if the pay is worth while doing it. So the block that I chose was from 6.30 to 8.30 and we are going to the Whole Foods in Indianapolis, which there's only two Whole Foods that they're partner with Amazon Flex. The location I'm going to is the one mile square. So that's downtown. I'm about like 20 minutes from downtown. We're gonna see how it is. The pay stays between $30 and $59, but the base pay is 30. So the best thing about doing like the Whole Foods or the Fresh Online is that you actually get tips compared to like delivering packages, like the sub same day or the regular Amazon packages or the retail delivery, which I've done already two videos on Amazon Flex. My first day doing the sub same day, which is my actual first day doing Amazon Flex overall, and then the retail delivery. So definitely go check out those two videos. I'm just glad to be able to get a tip for this one. It does state on there that most people give you up to $29 in tips. Hopefully I get up to that $59. That's the goal. But you know what? We're just gonna figure this out together. I did go ahead and watch some videos on how to do this, how to group it, how to organize it. But we're gonna see how my Whole Foods is here in Indianapolis. Let's go ahead and go. I need to fill up my car real quick and let's start. We just stopped here at the gas station where he is pumping my gas, Cortland. The reason why he has it on is he just did his block before mine and luckily he got done early. So I was like, I need some help because I want to be able to get this footage for y'all. And I feel like doing both would be a lot for the first time. But I just saw on here, like all the rest of them, you can actually start 15 minutes before. That's great. Hopefully don't get too many and it's not too many stops too. Because the person I just watched, he only had six stops, but he had 22 bags. So we gonna see. We're here at Whole Foods at 6.20. My block starts in 10 minutes. Corlin's gonna come in there with me. He's also going to record on my other phone. You guys are gonna get phone footage real quick. Let's go ahead and go in and get this done. What you wanna do first is select I've parked, begin, and then it wants you to take a picture for the ID check. So I'm in here. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. All right, so right now that we see, it says wait in this area. So we're kind of just waiting in Whole Foods. So I guess while we're waiting, we're just going, you know, look around <laughs> the store, I guess. Not really sure where we're supposed to go anyways. Ended up asking someone which took us down to the lower level. Didn't know they had one. He showed us that there's a parking spot for Amazon Flex. And so after he showed us where to pick up the Whole Foods order. We went upstairs and got the car and brought it to a lower level so it'd be easier. It's still telling me that we're waiting in this area. Like finally in the right parking spot now where it says Amazon Flex, parking only. I wish they kind of had signs when coming into the garage. It does state on here, be prepared to show your app to the Whole Foods team member. That's no problem. Just still waiting in this area to get something. Oh, I wish the app like, like, oh, we're, we're waiting on something. Right. But they, they did say if we wait 30 minutes, I do get paid, but I'll be mad that I did all this and I ain't doing it. I just wasted gas. I'm not that far away, but still. And I just drove in the rain, which I don't like. But it's only 6.34, so I mean. Yeah, we were just here early. So it is 6.45 now. I'm about to go in here and see maybe if the signal's better see about what three packages in a freezer yeah there's really none on these shelves except a couple same thing oh two bars now two bars so if you didn't know this amazon will pay you if you had to wait 30 minutes or more we're getting pretty close we're at 16 minutes all right well five minutes till seven still don't have nothing and a guy literally just picked up the last little bit in there 
for his block. I was like, there's nothing else in there for me to get. 701, I'm gonna go ahead and call driver support because nothing has changed on the app. It's my first time calling them. Block or schedule delay? Delay with grocery? Okay, hoping this is it. Because at this point I should be getting paid for being here for 30 minutes. And I'm not trying to start something when I had literally a two hour block when they should have given me something. How long is it gonna take for them to call me? I'm gonna get in the car. Well, no one has called me, so I'm just gonna use their chat. Okay, someone's already joined the chat. Hi. Long story short, I said hi, my block was from 6.30 to 8.30 and I've been waiting over 30 minutes now and I was told, once you wait those 30 minutes, you are sent home and paid for that block. How does that work? And you guys can go ahead and pause it and read the rest. Okay, so she's like, upon checking, no packages are assigned to you yet. In this case, I request you to wait to the end of the block. What? I'm not going to sit here until 8.30. How is this any different than packages? And I thought once your block hit your 8.30, how we do packages, you have to return that stuff. As per policy, you need to wait to the end of the block. So I'm asking her, so if I get a block at 7.45. I have to wait here for two hours to get something doesn't make sense to me. No. If I don't get something after a certain time period. Which is the 30 minutes, which is, what everyone that says. Is that, that will be very inconsiderate of my time. Very. So oh, you're getting paid, but I'm sitting here though. Like, what if I get something at 7.50 and you give me four different orders to drop off by 8.30? How is this supposed to work? Because when we've done the sub same day, they're always like, this shouldn't take no more than 30 minutes to give you a route when we've done that. For this to say like, oh, <laughs> you know, wait the entire block is unacceptable of our time. Oh, heck no. So now she wants to say, deliver as much as you can in this block time. If you can't deliver the package, you can return the package back to the station after making the package as delivery attempted before returning please get back to us. So you are expecting me to stay here for another hour and 13 minutes. No. 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 <laughs> No. no, that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. No. You, <laughs> that yeah. is ridiculous. Maybe just talking to somebody else, we gonna get a better answer. I could be at home in my bed. I've already worked my Amazon shift today. As you see, I have the, I have this on. Amazon, you're not making yourself look good on this one. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I will not be taking a Whole Foods delivery <laughs> after this after one. After this one. <sighs> Keep in mind, guys, this is probably just our city. <laughs> that is dealing with this hopefully if you do do this i hope we do have another location yeah too. we have another location but hopefully no one else goes through this who watches this so because this is ridiculous it's 719 at least we ain't burning no gas like this at this point it's crazy. like we should just go explore whole foods like at this point i've go? never been in whole foods you wanna go? oh it's an on do not disturb my dumb butt that's why i haven't been getting wow Thank you for contacting Amazon Driver Support. And we hi, wait. Thank you for calling Amazon Driver Support. My name is Joyce. May I have your name? Yes, hi, my name is Desiree. Hello, Desiree. How can I help? Yes, I am um, still waiting at Whole Foods for my block that I chose from 6.30 to 8.30. And I've already waited my 30 minutes. And I was told that once you wait your 30 minutes, you are sent home and paid for that shift. So basically, you're trying to pick up a package for Whole Foods. And... You already waited 30 minutes. You said block is from 6.30 to 8.30, right? Yes, that is correct. Did you try to refresh your app and sign out, sign in to make sure that there's no other updates regarding with the packages that you're trying to pick up? No, I have not. Did you already so I've, I've arrived? Yes, I've already said like I've parked and stuff. Okay. So yeah, I've been, it's just telling me to wait in this area. That's what it's been telling me since I got here. Okay, here's what you're going to do, okay? So since there's no other update on the... Uh, packages that it's trying to pick up I highly advise to you that uh, please wait uh, to be assigned a route this may uh, I mean this wait may be up to the full length of your block okay so, so I highly advise to just kindly wait at the station first and then refresh your app from time to time okay so my question is with that if you guys give me a full length of a two hour period I'm not going to have time to be able to do a two hour period I'm almost like an hour into it 
And then I was told by someone else that I would have to return anything that I'm not able to do and that would be out the way. I was told that after you wait 30 minutes you are sent home and paid. So this doesn't make any sense to me of why I'm still waiting here. Yeah. However, ma'am, if the station is experiencing delays, the route plan will automatically be shortened by the system, okay? So routes are not assigned based on when you check in. It is based on many variables, including how many drivers are currently checked in and how long each of their routes are. So uh, if you are worrying, uh, if you are asking regarding with your payment, I can create your ticket for you. If you are asking regarding with your payment, and I can request, I can create a ticket here for you. But first, you need to stay at the station for that who could speak up and then kindly refresh your app from time to time. I'm the only Amazon Flex driver here that is waiting for one, and I've been here since 6.20. I see. Can you try this one? Can you try at least with it at, at least 8 o'clock? And then if, any other, if there's no other updates on the app, give us a call back. But right now, I can request for your payment, okay? Okay, if you can request for my payment, that'd be nice. And I'll stay here until yeah. 8. Okay, so uh, Desiree, I already created your ticket regarding with your payment. So also please check your email, okay? Okay. So please wait at the, at the station first. And then by 8 o'clock, give us a call back if there's no other absence, okay? Okay, thank you. Thanks for driving with Amazon. You keep safe. Bye for now. Bye. Bruh. This song. I guess we should just stop recording yeah. at this point. It's been a waste of time. A waste. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it was just because it was at the end of the day. Hey, that it was a waste or like. So it was a complete fail. All right. Well, it is 8.02. We did stay until the 8 o'clock that was asked, which is very annoying because it was like we can't get anything done in a two hour block if we only have like 30 minutes to be able to do it. Like what? Well, she did put in a ticket, which allowed me to still be able to get paid for my block. But of course, the lady wanted me to wait until 8, which the Whole Foods that I was at closed at 8 o'clock anyways. And there wasn't much I could do in 30 minutes regardless. I will still get paid. It sucks that it was a fail <laughs> for my first time doing Whole Foods. I probably won't ever do that location again. I know we have another one. It's about the same distance, honestly. Hopefully I get some other ones. That's just the goal. To end off this video, if you guys experience anything like this, let me know. If you had good experiences, let me know too. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button. And that all so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I've been